Who is that? They always do this. They make me hate a character and then I like them so much. Don't tell me he's dying. Weeping like rain. To swell. Yeah, let's go. Don't tell me it's true. Don't tell me that like all of the theories are true. Okay, then let's see what we will find in the amusement park. What's going on? Why can't anyone yeah. go in? Because it's a lockdown. Huh. So many of them. I've never seen anything like this. Even when they're tracking down suspects. Can you convince them to let us in? It's pretty impressive even from out here. Well, True. it's a masterpiece from the family after all. Besides the followers of the preservation, the family members are the best at creating mind-blowing marvels. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. Okay. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. Clocky's counterpart? Because Clocky resembles the family or what? I'm still shocked that Mikhail is the watchmaker. What does Mikhail even look like? In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history okay. fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Okay. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I mean, we know that there are long life spe species out there, right? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited Wait, he the met him? Did I miss that in the last time? How old are you now, Mr. Officer? Oh, I saw a meme about this. I'm 13. <laughs> okay. <sighs> no way. Not even close. Hanunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. With limited <laughs> resources, going on? threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Ostana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Okay, so it was the Watchmaker's idea? Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. Hmm. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion, but rather one of his many children. What? But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. Hmm. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. Hmm. And that's the worst betrayal of all. So when Mikhail needed someone, he didn't do anything, okay? Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone, but the Oak family, they set us up. There is so much lore and explanation in this like version of Penacone now, in this like 2.1 version. I said this before, but it's like crazy. There is so much dialogue, so much information we are getting. I really like that because it seems like Penacone is a major part of the Honkai Star Rail story. It's like really big, right? Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. Hmm. While well, they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. That is crazy. Like, 
they say to the people to worship the watchmaker, but in reality, they like hate the watchmaker. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore harmony to Penacony. But who is it? But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. Mm. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail... Did they kill him or imprison him somewhere? Because he said help a lot of times, right? I heard he died in obscurity. Mm. In a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacony I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story. Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly oh, working okay. against the family all this time. But maybe Mikhail isn't that. Who could that person be? Is the Watchmaker an organization? Well, that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. But what is like the Watchmaker's power to make them so special to be like the Watchmaker? Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is. Or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be mm. connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries. So there were theories about like Firefly um, supposedly getting killed. So she could get like closer to the Watchmaker's legacy. Which is clearly after not not only she but also Archeron. And yeah I think this might be where this is going. That she that this is, was somehow her plan. Because she was going after the Watchmaker's legacy. We will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's I ghost, do. I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. Hmm. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Uh. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? The dream seekers? Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. Yeah, well, many people have. I mean, we had a lot of adventuring lore as well, right? While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, mm, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. And that the family isn't united at all, and that death is related to the Watchmaker, and that Clarky is based on the Watchmaker. Mm. Okay, exactly. let's start. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. Hmm. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Hmm, true. I mean, he basically admitted, admitted it. Uh, you're really into clocky, huh? <laughs> Why is He's she always a mad at me? Character, not a real person. Speaking of which, that clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Hmm. 
that's pretty that pretty much sums it up now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions let's take a moment to think about the clues we have send a message to welt and see how things are going on his end oh yeah he is still with Archeron. ask about Welt's situation Okay, we're now headed to Do Light Pavilion. Hmm? <laughs> well, please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Can we. Thank you. Go back to him. Oh, switching to Archeron's POV. Are okay. your companions worried about you? Kind of. They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Oh, so they are going to see Sunday. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Okay. Beyond good and evil. Okay. I'm here with my own Archeron. <laughs> okay, and I guess with my own team. No story character. Wait, do I not? Oh, wait, but is she better than my Archeron? How can I find out? I don't actually know. Let's just try the story one. Once more. Oh, so the doors are open. Something feels off. A grand mansion like I this and not a butler wealth. or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Okay. Just one moment. Akaran draws her blade slightly. Within a moment, her breath became imperceptible. What? I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but mm. I can't come up with any excuses for being here. Okay. I see. What an interesting technique. The model in the sand pit. Mm. It's the golden hour, isn't it? Maybe the heads of the family used in the footprints here are different from the rest. Oh. There are two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Mm, it's Reishi on Aventurine, right? Can you identify the people who left these footprints? Well, there's a unique pattern here. Flamboyant, even. Mm -hmm. And judging by the size, I'd say these were men's shoes. If I'm right, it could be the IPC ambassador, Aventurine. Yeah, this one, right? Aventurine. What about the other set? It looks like they were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other. So the second individual is likely equal in status to Aventurine. The IPC is eager to reclaim Panacone, so their presence here is not unexpected. Stream four. The gleam of all Let's kill them all. I really like the technique of Archeron. It saves so much time, especially in like the simulated universe. I really enjoy that. Okay. Let's check out the Sam pit. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. Okay, there is nothing here. Let's check this one. Wait, it's closed. And I'd open in the current state. Was it close with Aventurine as well? I can't well, There remember. aren't any people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Hmm. What? This is where it ends. Okay, I guess she's a little bit better than Look, my Archeron. <laughs> a note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Hmm. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. Okay. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. Mm. The 
Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? True. So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. Sunday is like a really suspicious person, right? Like that dude. Oh god, the trash can. No, I don't want to fight the trash can. Do we fight the trash can? Can I? Oh god. I thought it kicked me. I don't need to go anywhere anymore, I guess. Let's just go on. Let's just see Sunday and kick his ass. <laughs> Sunday! No one here either. Wait, he's not here? There's the treasure chest. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. My white? Okay, let me check the treasure. Investigate. A letter from Robin. Dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Dewlight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrained from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Panacone, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. Yeah, well, I don't trust doctors too much with what they are saying because they might be wrong. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations, using my idle time out, to re out of rehearsal, of course. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Panacone is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I, imme I immediately realized that such levels of interference can only occur can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings, or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to the latter conclusion. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family in Panacone, and it is highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. Okay, what kind of promise? With the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You're the only true family member I have left. Are they like really related? There is another matter that requires our attention. During my investigation, I learned about the memory zone meme, Death. Oh, she knows. And my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause this series of incidents is likely to aforementioned traitor in the family. I have collected more clues and am prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparations for the Germany Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated that, I will come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. Well, I guess she just died. Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality when you are free. I've brought some more specialties from other galaxies. Giant more putting cards from Mor Morillans. Wild strawberries from Akonyako. Known for their ex exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you will enjoy. An almond men meringue. Cream, crackling, pregnant, what from Medicia? Don't forget to enjoy that. May she be with us. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. Mm. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice, and 
Now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the Harmony had been tampered with somehow. Mm. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Maybe an emanator can do Meaning. it? Meaning... If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Mm. I noticed Robin's voice as well, but I didn't know if it was just because of, like, I don't know, bugs or something. But I noticed it as well, and it seems like, yeah, it has something to do with the story. This light cone yeah. is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. Okay, cute. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Mm, true. Yeah, time has a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. That's sad. <clears throat> List of death victims and the role a male Halo Vion was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach in the, mem in the moment of the oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. This was the first case can tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation. Mori, a male from Jianzhou, entered a, sh entered a spheroid in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spheroid was bouncing in air. Later examinations showed no signs of force, entry or exit on the spheroid. It seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers, conventional investigation methods feasible. Emaka, a female human, participated in a talent show in the moment of Squirts and but accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared in the shadows below. Wait, so they are manipulating the memories so that no one knows about these attacks? Preferring to attack wounded or vulnerable individuals, uncertain, maybe taking orders from someone else. However, the author of the list seems st to still struggle with figuring out the pattern. The information about Robin. Firefly and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Yeah, me neither. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Okay, let's check more. Oh, there is something on the desk. List of suspects. I don't want to read that much. The investigation into all the suspects involved in the death case has been concluded. The findings are summarized below for your review. Ryan, a general stuff from the Oak family. Percy, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family. Reshi, long gray hair, devoted fan of Clocky, suffering from severe OCD. Okay. Professor at Paperfield Academy, rumored by students to be an enigmatic figure due to his unkempt appearance. There are a total of 52 suspects on the list followed by Sunday's note. Perhaps there is a common thread among them. I have reached a conclusion. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his mm. suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics... What? What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, mm. could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. I guess he wants to find the murder of his sister. A letter from Alfalfa. I have been informed about Robin and I would like to express my deepest condolences. Wait, they know. However, I must remind you that now that you now hold the position for not only her elder brother, 
but also the head of the Oak family. Your every action has implications for all of Panacone. As Panacone is going through a critical period, it is crucial that you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgment and be cautious not to engage in activities that others can use against you as leverage. I heard that you are planning to dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find that. Such action does not serve the best interests of the family as a whole and I strongly advise you to reconsider it to, to avoid potential impeachment impeachments <laughs> from other families' heads. While you are convinced that death is connected to the watchmaker, I have met that watchmaker many times long before the dream master adopted you and your sister, the dream master, and I have never found any evidence linki linking him to that memory zone meme. Now that you are the head of the Oak family, it is essential that you assess the situation objectively and consider the bigger picture. It is unwise to allocate all of Panacone's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta, as this would bring dishonor to the Great One. Wait, are they worshipping someone different then? The Charmony Fest- oh, maybe the Harmony, I forgot. The Charmony Festival is on the horizon and the watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. Neither you nor I could face the severe consequences of Dominicus' arrival is delayed. What? Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family. Focusing on only focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from external sources. In addition, we must not neglect the honored guests invited by the watchmaker, as mishandling this matter could lead to diplomatic conflicts with other major factions involving us in disputes that could have been avoided. As your elder, I hope you comprehend the gravity of the situation and handle it appropriately. As for the matter of Robin, there would be time to there would be time to pursue it once the festival concludes. By then, I will provide you with the necessary resources and manpower in the name of the Alfalfa family to help you get your revenge. In Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. I advise you to conduct yourself with I advise you to conduct yourself with caution, old Oti. It seems neither the Dream Master of Panacone mm. nor this old Oti is happy with Sunday's recent performance. Mm. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the mm. Watchmaker. True. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family mm. and everybody has their own agenda. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before mm. coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Yeah, true, it was kind of unexpected. Where is Sunday? Watch out. Someone's approaching. Oh? I don't think trespassing on forbidden oh. areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. Mm. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't yeah. you agree? I, I don't like him. He's... I don't know, he's weird. Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. Why? On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Uh. Rest assured. He hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Okay, why is she like that? He's right in front of us. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Okay. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? 
With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Mm. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. I don't trust him. I'm actually... I don't know, I trust Aventurine more right now than him. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by oh. himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking Wait, up. I'm at the theme park. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. I don't like him. Oh, Aventurine's POV. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the inter Peace they know? Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. Oh God. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Kataka Avgin extinction event, mm. who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Wait, so... Who is that? What pretty eyes. Shade. Oh. Tell me. She... Do they shine in the dark? Wait, is she from the IPC as well? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. She's so pretty. Like, servant, what the hell? You should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. Oh, he killed his master? No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazu. Hmm. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. What is this about? I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Mm. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hmm. <laughs> What do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. 30 tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. Is that how he got rich? <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. 
Which is why you should call him. Not here. the best way to get rich, by the way. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And mm. I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. 30 Tonbis. I'll give you that. And much no, more. No, she than likes that. him. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't mm. want. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name. But unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. Oh, does she you, give him his though, name? You deserve to live. To create even more wealth. For us. Go. Pick the clothes you like. Then choose your desired identity. And then? <laughs> Use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Life is like a long-term investment. Hmm. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. Mm. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. But now he has a problem. Is it because Gayathra blesses me? <laughs> well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial... What would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with is unending this like riches right now? after countless successes? Or... Will I encounter failure? Never to return. I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas, lowly gambler. What voice is that? It's his own. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah. Mm. Am I dreaming or have I gone completely insane? <laughs> yeah, both, I guess. Perhaps both. Hmm? You've forgotten me already. When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlord, who was it that gave you the idea? To the electric chair? Like, bro. For adventure, I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the harmony. <laughs> the harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. What is no happening? Need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> okay. This, like, this Panacone story is, like, so much. My head is exploding. The different POVs, it's, like, a lot of story. A grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't. I can show you. Before your is this like Sunday's gone, doing or, the, or is it really like the last side of effect road. of like this stuff? Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. Walk where? <laughs> what exactly are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Oh, is it there? Kakavasha, I am your oh. future. <laughs> I 
first I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Nah. Why are there no guests here? What's that Featherhead doing? Wait, is he becoming an Emanator? Just a Pepeshi? No. A child. Oh, is that him? Sorry, kid. I'm coming right to you. No! I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? Is it him? Uh, uh, what's wrong, mister? <gasps> you don't look well. It is him. <laughs> His eyes are so creepy. <laughs> Your eyes? Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Okay, but it looks creepy. <laughs> Mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Poor child. Are, are you alone? What is that? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time too. Is that, that nice. how he landed in the amusement park? In Mama Funk. No, no, it, it can't. Okay. There aren't any Avgens left. Look at the text here. Catch up with the young Avgen baby. I didn't expect that we'd get like so much adve adventurine lore. That is insane. No, we are skipping. <laughs> I do have to change my team again. Why? Sorry, Fu Xuan, but why are you always here? <laughs> Papa, Mama, wait for me. Is this some kind of weird <laughs> stage play? Only on Panacone, am I right? <sighs> what are you, you still doing here? Well, you've known all along. Family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the dream syrup is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panacone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. What is he even trying to do? I don't get it. Oh, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Mm. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies, calculations. Mm. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> okay. So when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? <laughs> what? Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, sober, cautious, massive inferiority complex. This is... You want what so is even much, happening? You're still so afraid of losing. They only see your big bet. Why would you not be afraid of losing? House, the straight flush They mm. don't know. The other hand is below the table. Clutching your chips. Oh. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself. 
Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true mm. colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> I mean, of course. Maybe. I don't I know. know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation. Was that not what you most wanted? But Wait. He could have been a what? A mask fool? For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common? What? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? We're done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. Wait, is it not actually preservation? That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to mm. be me, anyway. I'm trying not to disappear. What is the kid doing here? After the agony in Stonia places, the shout and the cries, prisons, places, rever reverberations. Do I follow the kid? <laughs> Wait. Oh, there is a treasure. Anacone dreams. What is here? <laughs> oh, I can't. Okay. Then let's go for the child. I don't know what is happening on like Aventurine side, but it's getting worse here. Playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. Okay. I'm not. I don't want to play hide and seek. I don't know what's going on. Mm, what is going to happen to him? Are you in a treasure? <laughs> Do I have to go inside? I don't want to fight actually. Oh, this again. <laughs> what sweet childhood memories. When Mama said goodbye that day, how many catechins were like jackals hot on your heels? I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Hmm. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. Bro. You and Big Sis. Playing dead. Drifting and all that. Water. Completely ruined that shirt. <laughs> Shame. Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? Man, Aventurine has such a sad child. It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Oh. Come on. It's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. On the contrary. Hmm. Now I guess he did. The last round of hide and seek. And you get to be it. You should enjoy it. That child. Could he be in here? I guess he is. Let me try to find the child. Oh, is this something? Oh, what is this doing here? A topaz. What is this doing here? <laughs> what does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart? Hmm. Because it's not his. <sighs> I was merely curious why it was here. <laughs> He's annoyed. Maybe that winged guy put it here. Hmm. To taunt you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipoff's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer mm. nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up 
right there. <laughs> this is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say that doctor's acting was superb. Wait, so it was all planned? Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. Uh, maybe. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's mm. obsessed with control. What is that grin? By his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. Hmm. The intel you gave to Ratio was That's actually true, not a bad plan, right? Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it... Everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. Wait, the adventuring wasn't even there? <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Your mind. <laughs> it's our mind. Hmm. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. Hmm. Maybe he's a part the of him. Way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is there is the other one. To fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. Mm. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Hmm. Smooth. Cunning. Tell me. What's its name? Is it Jade? <laughs> Why are no. you even asking me? Because it's green, right? I didn't even notice. Uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when you received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem is... Jade. Jade. Ah, oh god. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. Why does he have all of the cornerstones? A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. Three leaves, three cornerstones, who, for a measly panic on me, Offered their everything. Oh, oh so they gave him the Stornicles? As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's what the crazy plan now? does he have? Pick it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. Hmm. After all, it really does resemble its owner. Is that really a version of As him, or wish, is then, it someone else? They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Oh, so that is his one. It looks like it looks like the topaz, just in green, right? Piled up with these cheap baubles. Stone before you left? Huh? There is a chest. Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Klipoff's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot-free? I don't know, but he's on the edge of death. <laughs> well, Diamond has always been all about results. Hmm. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. Oh, okay. I'm curious if we're, like, ever going to see, like, Diamond, but I guess we will. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? Hmm. It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but 
It's enough for me. Now I'm really curious. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the Why does he not know? <laughs> always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction. If you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards. I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't mm. see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is... I want to see how he wins it all because I can't really, you know, believe that he's going to win anything. We'll just have to wait and see then. Oh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Wait, but oh. where is the kid? Oh. What is it? I will come back for the trip. Oh, there is the kid. Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Huh? Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there too. Oh. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a flim. A flim? <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Yes, that's it. Mm. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. Okay. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. Am I sad? I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm sure. Okay. <sighs> Why aren't you talking? Yeah. You piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Okay. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Mm, true. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our you sure? Our journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. I don't want to stretch it out. I want to know what's going on here. Like, Panacone has, like, the most complex story. It feels like a murder mystery at some point. There are so many secrets here. It's so tall. Even taller than the tallest rocks in the desert. Here is no water, only the rock. There are so many flowers here. Fix this. This one's for you. Rock and no water, only sandy road. <laughs> Let me get the treasure. What is where's the kid? A dead end? Oh, is this the wrong way? <laughs> He's just gone. Oh god. It, is this Are these his shackles? Oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hint? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. You made your first pot of gold. I remember it all too well. Mm. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist. For that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that maze... Oh, this was the first time he killed someone, right? Shut up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Hmm. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth the least... 60 well, from what I, see, I still don't know if that's much or not, but I guess not. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. 
Hmm. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. <laughs> you could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wow. wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? So he does want to cheat. He wants to gamble, but not cheat. Is that right? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Hmm. Okay. Fair. <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. Hmm. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. Oh, the voice thing, right? She said. <laughs> Find someone mute. You mean it could make all the cards on the table just disappear? <laughs> cards on the table. That's what? cheating. Nah. If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? Where? Wait, <sighs> I didn't read it. Something with water. Amongst the rock, one cannot stop or thing what <laughs> and i have to okay <sighs> mm. your expression right now is hard to put into words the lucky charm on the left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? Why would he? It's from his mother. You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. Mm. There won't ever be a third piece. Uh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. I don't think he regrets it, right? You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty. But his don't planet? Wait. How did he become a slave again? The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. Hmm. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. Oh, she you died. Ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. A lifelong regret indeed. Like this is so honkai, like everyone around you is just dying. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly mm -hmm. the first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are... <sighs> In the end, what the hell? I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that start to finish. Think about it. The There's a stellar death. on play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool. And a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. And the only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's mm. right there at your fingertips. Death. But whose exactly? His? 
Does he want to die? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> All right then. Reserve hmm. seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over. But you still want to be the child who received Gaiafra's blessing. What even exactly is that? That he's lucky? <sighs> it's so quiet this time. Is he finally gone? I don't know. Or am I the one about to disappear? Be deep in the sea or something like that. I'm still wondering why this Panacone story is so... Why it's so about him. That mountain mouth of Carrius Dean. I mean, he is supposed to be a boss, right? We saw that in the trailer. But his background story is insane. <sighs> Finally made it out of this place. We're going home? But I don't want to go back yet. What? Why not? But red silent faces sneer and snarl. But dry stare thunder without rain. It's so fun here. I want to stay here forever. So what I kind of forgot, I maybe did not really mention it. The Sigonians were like prisoners. No, they were killed, right? And he was the only prisoner. But why was he in prison? Uh, wait, are we... What? <laughs> ah, it really is you. Why not? I don't know why, mister. But you always give me a special feeling. It makes me more curious about you. I mean, they are the same person, right? It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Wait, why? Mm. You're going back? Yes, I should go home. The day's getting dark and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. Mm. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama and Big Sis are. Is he troubled because he is alone in the world and his family died? That is so sad. In this dream. <sighs> this amusement park. This beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, mister, why don't you like it? Because it's fake. <laughs> because they're not here. Oh. I love his earring. Dad? I don't know. Wait, you don't know what? You do know. But there's no point pressing the issue. <laughs> Is that why he's seeking death? I am. We all are. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me and him. Your past and future. Oh. How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. Aww. Oh, no, I'm going to cry, huh? <laughs> they always do this. They make me hate a character and then I like them so much. You've never gone in any other direction. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Mm. Always has been. You don't care who the real murderer is. And the watchmaker's so-called legacy could be more boring. Mm. What you want, what you need, is to be the smoothest. 
smooth operator. The solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger. Mm. Deep inside family territory. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains, and okay. spotlit <laughs> center stage. <laughs> You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. No. Don't tell me he's dying. And it will be flawless. Is he sacrificing himself to death so we can defeated uh, of course you can your luck will help you at the right time stellaron and an emanator it's that simple now that way the ibc will earn a place at the table and as for you you'll just happen to slip the leash leave the rat race extract yourself from this endless debacle You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> Bro. This isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. <laughs> oh. So that's why Diamond chose you. Because he's willing to sacrifice himself? He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Why, well, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. That is insane, bro. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. That's the why they showed me his whole like, like background inside. story. You will keep winning. Have you never lost before? But why? Must it be you? If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more, if these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanthra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, mm. then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? <sighs> Maybe, maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's... Hmm. Time to let the past behind. Best to die without regrets. Bro, I'm so sad. Uh. <sighs> and now, only we are left. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Why? Sure. Everyone's just dying. Come on. Photo. Yeah, I'm taking a photo. <laughs> <laughs> How nice. Now I can see what I look like too. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Mm. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. 
I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> no. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. <laughs> I'm actually you. Why is this so honkai? But I do have a show to do. I don't want to. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. Men in black in the sky, but who <laughs> only is that ordinary on the other employees side of have to wear that. My position is much <laughs> higher than theirs. <laughs> huh? Awesome. I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. Shut up. <laughs> I wanted a good Honkai story, and now I got a Honkai story where everyone is just dying. Great. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> of course you can. You'll Over be better and, and stronger than me. Oh, into cracked earth stumbling. His POV is so sad, I don't want to play it anymore. Oh, we are by... No. Uh. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gaiathra's blessing, you'll feel uh... more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. Stop. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins no. are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. They know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Catechins know, this time, we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The catechins stand no chance against them. Oh, the men in black are the IPC. For their arrogance. Right? Without this rain, the catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha. Whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But. but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing mm. this? The Avgen always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. Wow. I must answer the call. But she will bless you with good fortune. Help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Aww. 
Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful, and your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. <sighs> The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region oh of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjim, who were under the protection of the IPC. Oh, resulting this is in some 6, past recording. And 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson oh, expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? He's gone. <laughs> Man, Bye. why is this so sad? <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> okay. All the actors are in place. I don't want him to, to die now. Why show me all of his past? And the music is so sad. Stop. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. Shut up, I don't want to hear your voice right now, I'm sad. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Okay, returning to the trail by bro, what Is this the Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm oh. Yinka, the Astral Express's navigator. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you hmm? definitely know her. Hey, I still deserve a proper intro. Pleasure to meet you. Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Mm. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. We can be friends too. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Mm. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to... create a situation where all three parties are present? Mm. There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Panacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Mm. 
Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. Mm. But we must meet out justice for the dead. Maybe we should now get out of here while we still can. I am the bone of my bad. Stellaron is my body and Trailblaze is my mother. She's right. No matter what, we cannot ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. Mm. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Yay, let's go. Let's move out then. But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen, uh? the most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. The IPC cordially invites everyone to Clock Studio Theme Park. <laughs> Look, uh? should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Okay, let's go well. Sybil, what do you want? Trailblaze Chronicle. Okay, why do I have to talk to March? Uh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? I am. Ready, let's, let's go. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park then. Let's head to the theme park. <laughs> Mr. Yang. What? Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's just like you said. Uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. Wait, her true identity? Like that she's an emanator? But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. Yeah, well... I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. <laughs> May. <laughs> to reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you. If my meager strength is required. Challenge, okay. Let's go. What are we doing? I would say we will go like this. I don't know if I need a healer, but let's just try it like this. We're back here again. Aventurine actually chose a really conspicuous location. Okay, everyone, we are gathered here in the final act of 2.1, I guess. Let's go. Uh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? No, don't judge him. Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Wait, why is it just me? The music is crazy. Okay, then let's see what this show is about. There is no one here. Astral Express. Oh God. You're late. And this unsung guest. Why is he only my right ear? We've kept your appointment, 
Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. <laughs> oh, I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Who is it? Everyone, give it up for Mid Delara! Oh! We're not here for any page entry. Does this have anything to do with the wanted murder? Mommy, look, I'm on TV. Uh. Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Ah, uh, well. Oh, no, they do. <laughs> Wait, what? Of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. She Wait, what? is the key to proving that the family's death that does not exist in dreams promise is nothing but a sham. Okay. Three homicides? That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen uh. right now, <laughs> right here. A truly grand death. Why? You... You, you, and you. Wait, we? All of you are going to die. What? And it's all because of you, Miss Stella. No, it's just a scam of him, right? He's baiting me into this, so we are killing him. You will become the personification of death. You're sure you're gonna survive? I ain't that powerful. What are you on about? <laughs> I thought my intent was crystal clear. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panacone. What? BAM! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC fleet's navigator. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. True. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You wanna bet? <laughs> sure. I I'll think that's you. just I'm betting that it'll be a sweet a trick. victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's just another gamble. I came from the wastelands of Sagonia. For just 60 red Aww. copper coins, people paid to brand me. Put mm. me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me. The golden sands. But the sun could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory mm. wasn't just a stroke of luck. <laughs> I've never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Oh god. Why do the That's living scary. sleep? I don't want to hear that. because we are not ready for the final Oh god. Every night is practice for the end. You and oh my I god. are into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or grounds to. Okay. Full oh, cutscene. The dice are cast. Ladies and Why is the bird here ready again? To unveil your cards. The artist's <laughs> flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. Oh god. I'm claiming the win. Oh, and fate's been the wheel. I dare oh. you. Walking the brink of death. Oh, for his corner's gone. Oh. What the hell? 
Bro, he looks nice. Our fortune is clouded with uncertainty. We we'll love the music. Together as one. The seal of ill fate descends. Enemy targets detected. Oh. Okay, let's speed Enemy it up. I want to speed Network it up. <laughs> I'm not used to like battle slow. Wait, what is he doing? Okay. Game results in a draw. Okay, okay, good. Ill tidings good. manifest. Enemy targets detected. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I weep for the departed. Let's go. It too shall fall. <laughs> Prepare for some hard run. and yay. What the hell? I see through you. <laughs> the music is so great. Ill fate to say. Commencing support. Ready for another? Destined for oblivion. Come on. Oh god. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, I have a four. Nice. Memories are beneath the waters. Lies I'm good. In the endless abyss. As one, all things in the human creations. Let me get a little bit of healing. Any data six net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. I weep Let's for the go, Archeron Ultimate. It too shall fall. Oh my god. Even on a losing streak, as long as people still have hope. Keep throwing money on the table. The chance. Perhaps. The potential. Uh, is what you that what justifies the gamble. I think this is all just like his scheme. Serendipity. Uh, which one should I take? Uh, okay. Uh, I can't even get that much, right? Six. It's all or nothing. Yo, yo, chill. What the hell? Memories are ever chipping. He's just killing me, bro. What do you want to know? Ill fate to say. I weep for the departed. Man. It too shall fall. Maybe I should have brought a healer. Skill was on four. Together as one. Ill tidings manifest. Oh, Amazing I can support. do AoE. Okay. Ready for another? Another journey begins. Six. Destined for oblivion. Ooh, what is that? It's all or nothing. No matter. Bro. <laughs> Give me my ultimate, please. I weep for the departed. Man. It too shall fall. Hila is going to die. Okay. Destined for oblivion. Okay, all are living. <laughs> all things in this human creations. Let me just do this. Memories are beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Enemy data secure. Netmarkers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. 
I weep for the departed. Let's go. It too shall fall. Come on. Okay, let's go. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. Everybody's like that. Down to the last player. So why what is can't happening? I be happy too? Why can't I feel that breathe? <laughs> Oh boy. You make me hide your ace with a straight face. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Adventuring. Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last shit. Only by casting aside reason does oh one god. truly can Ah, Caron. What are we doing? Kiana flashbacks. <laughs> what the hell? Emanator. I know you'll match my wager, right? You're leaving? Wait, what? <laughs> what is happening? Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pinnacle. Wait, who mentioned what it? What do you hope to find within a dream? More dreams? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. Who is not in a dream? I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Okay. Even if that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. Oh, is he talking about the nihility? They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them there are always those who rise from the shadows mm. <laughs> they mostly become a part of the shadow in your eyes am i the same you still have a strand of color What? 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 So is he? So is he a galaxy ranger as well? But not much. <sighs> that is enough. No. Uh -huh. Before they vanish completely. Ooh. I will reach the nihility's end. <laughs> what is happening? Ooh. Oh. I wish to mourn the departed, weeping like rain, to swell. The yeah, let's go. Why is she always crying? Don't do this to me. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. The music is crazy. What? Oh my god. What the hell happened? She is insane. Wait, is the color coming back? Wait, is he dead? What happened? The dream. But what is this place? A gigantic Ooh. black hole. And see. Have I... Have I 
succeeded. She replied, I want to die. This is where we go our own way. A walk among, among the tombstones. Where is he? Is that like what killed Izumo? Or like what she killed? Like the black sun? Welcome to this sad world. Oh, is she leading him? I think there was something said like that, right? <sighs> oh, the little boy is here again. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. Don't be afraid, don't look back. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Our path will cross again beneath the old status. Farewell, Kakao. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. But it's changed. Even what you don't want. For us, reunite with your we family. We will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Oh, Archeron. Oh, Archeron. <laughs> Melody, is it? <sighs> Perhaps to you. I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. With That's even all. more, she as an emanator is like full nihility, right? <laughs> That's all. Hmm? My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So. Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the she thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. She looks insane, bro. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> What do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. Mm. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. Mm. It was just a scheme, right? No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. Ooh. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. The Watchmaker's legacy? To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The hmm. legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of The best. true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Hmm. Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. 
This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. Mm. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. Is that a boy? And lives to tell the tale. Isn't it the same that, like, Firefly did? Someone or, like, already has. Or, like, say that she did? I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. So someone died? Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm what? happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Panacone. Wait, what? Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. So is... wait, is it Robin? Or is it what? Or is it fi- I don't- what? <laughs> what is even happening? But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Mm -hmm. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. You are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. Oh. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning. Deliberately mm. setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Mm. Opportunity and strategy. So in both the are end, essential. he wanted to be killed by her because he knew what kind of like abilities she has and how she can be helpful to him. He's not dumb. He's actually very smart, right? Right? And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? Mm. But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. Okay. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. Okay. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. Hmm. And after this, whether you can return from the Abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered. <laughs> hmm. Of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, I have nothing. Man. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. Wait, is she not doing anything? What? What is going on? <laughs> Before we part... Can you answer one more question? 
as someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me? She is so pretty. Why are we born into this world? If it's just to die. Aww. I don't think this and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. Mm. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why then do we struggle against it? So is the nihility like the ultimate resemblance of that in real life? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. Mm. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. True. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Mm, true. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. Mm. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. True. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Mm. Why is Take this a good so look true? At your, pocket. your friend has already given you the answer. Your friend. Good luck. What? Oh. I forgot about that. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Wait, is it just the ladder? <sighs> then I shall get going. Ah, uh? Mister, you're leaving. You ultimately chose to. No, leave don't this do this dreamscape. to me. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. Oh wait, he chooses to stay alive? There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops. And know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Uh, preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakabasha. And to make them proud. Mm. Mm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. Why is this so wholesome you know what? right now? <laughs> Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you going now? Yes.
May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Why is this Keeping so your blood cool. eternally pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakava Chef. Why? Uh, with hope for the morrow nestled in my heart, I descend into the slumber of tonight until the denouement of all calming morrows kisses me i have done embraced the quiet is he really dead i'm so confused what is happening but this man is different he lives and breathes in the present in every in every sinking night by every daring gamble no vision of morrow ever graced his dreams his life knows not quite should his fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempests one after another, till Maya enshrouds his very breath. And now, in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once falling die has at last landed on its earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully, it at last landed. The light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. So he is really dead? Bro, oh, this game is insane. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then. Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. Harvesting? Thereafter, in the cradle of slumbers, deep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. Oh, is she coming to Panacone? But wait, my boy, Aventurine, <laughs> what happened? I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Meanwhile, memory zoned up. You try to open your eyes, but you find only blackness before you. And whose POV is this? Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago. Aventurine unleashes the final assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Archeron drawing her blade and then crash. The inscribable force severs the power of preservation, while time and space froze instantly. Your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. I think so. It doesn't matter. I need to get out of here. Okay, I'm me. Oh. You're awake. Sam. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. Who? Huh? Just what's happening here? A uh, crevice between dreams. You've met me before. Mm. I'm Sam, a Stellaron hunter. But why is he here now? Why am I with him? What did Archeron do? I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. No. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times. I've tried, but ended in failure. Okay. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined, and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Okay. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, 
You and I will reap unforgettable gains. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silverwolf and Blade. Mm. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. Okay. So, there is only one method that I use. Deceiving? Don't tell me it's true. Don't tell me that, like, all of the theories are true. Nah. This is to show you. <laughs> no, come on. What? How? All that I am. How? No, don't stop here. No. I thought Labyrinth people are corridors weird of thinking that she is like Sam. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mm? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. He. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. Wow. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. Huh? You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. <laughs> what is this, stair battle? You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need mm -hmm. you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, is I will know what he bird? wants. My servants see everything. Uh. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always mm. been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. He's so evil. <laughs> if I Man. were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha, huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. And telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony mm. Festival. Isn't that right, my brother? <sighs> mm. Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Mm. Open your eyes and take a good look. Man, he is telling him. <sighs> Indeed. Every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. What is he up to? These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Mm. Then you invented this facade. A so he is an imposter? Tell me I'm wrong. Wait. 
happen? He didn't say anything. Minion of the Enigmada. What is that? <laughs> you have guts. I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? Well, apparently Firefly's not bad. <laughs> this proves that you and the Memory Zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Okay. Why did you kill her? Oh, another cutscene. <laughs> Wait, he really did? You know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. What? Bro, what? He killed Sunday as well. Gallagher is an imposter. What the hell? Man, what is even happening? I'm so shocked. Like, bro, what the hell? We have a lot of things to collect here. Let me just quickly go through all of them while I'm like processing what happened. Like, the ending was so unexpected. I was so focused on like, I don't know, Sunday being weird and the whole Aventurine story and everything. Like, bro, that is insane. I never actually suspected Gallagher. That was really insane. But we made it to the 2.1 story and like... Bro, Panacone story and like Honkai Star Rail story has improved so much. It's insane. And it's like, I really enjoy it. It's great. That This is like great story writing. We had a lot of like dialogue and lore here, especially like with the different POVs. It was a lot. My head was just exploding because so much stuff was going on, but it was great. You know, I enjoyed the story parts, the different views. Panacone story is really, really great. But yeah, guys, that's it for the 2.1 story. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the story. And yeah, as always, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Nice. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.